what's up? Sammy here. So, this is the long anticipated laser picker 2. I've been testing crazily during the last two weeks or so. Nice car. Oh, oh, oh. Not that kind of craziness. I mean, this. And here's my in-depth review. This video includes design walkthrough, including what's new about the Little Picker 2, what are these accessories for each racer, tests on all kinds of objects, and my unbiased conclusion. Okay, it's biased because I love it. <laughs> what you said, I got to say, everything you care about this laser engraver, I covered all. But before we get into review, please show some support for my channel by hitting the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Your support is important to me. Now, let's move to the laser picker too. Unlike any other portable laser engravers that we normally see on the market, it has got a handlebar on it. Oh! You want to fight? On the front is the indicator. We got two USB air ports on the back. Both are 5 volt to 2 amp, a Type C port, and a 12 volt to 5 amp input power connection. There is also a ventilation filter here. It can be taken off in case you want to clean the dust that's accumulated and the fine over long time use. Now, move to the top. We see three touchable indicators here one for start or pause the engraving. The middle is for status indication, and the last one is for focusing. Now at the bottom, we see the 5 watt power laser emission port. Below is the laser vent. It's also an air outlet for building fan. At the same time, for blowing away smoke when engraving. Other three ports are for connecting the portable shield. And finally, a quarter inch thread. That's for fixing on the electric standing bracket. Speaking of the bracket, why don't we take a closer look at it? It looks simple, but really practical. It has an L-shaped range rod for easy focusing, we'll get to that later. It enables you to engrave in different heights and of course, in different angles. What I really want to mention is the rollable bracket, or as the feature suggests, the auxiliary booster, which is my favorite. Why? Because with this thing, you can finally print something cylindrical and extra long objects. This gives us a really wide range of choices if you want to add a personal touch to gifts. This two roller bearing assembly that comes with the booster is magnetic. I can literally have fun with them for the whole day, but my boss won't allow me. They are totally original, I haven't seen any of that on the market before. Other new accessories that come with the laser picker 2 includes a power cube, basically a power bank. The capacity is 20,000 mA, it has an up to 200 minutes of continuous engraving for the laser picker 2. And the protective shield, as I mentioned before, I suggest you always put it on when you are engraving because it not only protects your eyes but also acts as some sort of support when you engrave vertically. And it pumps out the smoke. The reason I spent so much time talking about the design and all those new accessories of the Little Pick 2, I bet you already fell asleep, is because I really love the minimalistic design. The matte finish gives me a really premium, delicate, and well polished feeling. The moment I put it on my hands, I know this definitely is not some cheap and bad quality product that's flooded on the market. This is something really beautiful and high end. Even if you don't use it, you can just put it somewhere in your house as a piece of decor. Though as good as it looks, you may still wonder, how is the laser picker to performance on Earth? No worries, we'll get to the engraving ability in a second. Before that, I'd like to show you a little bit of how to use the laser picker too. Yes, another boring part. But no worries, this is not the whole tutorial thing, which I've already made a separate video of that. You can check it out if you are interested. Here, I just add something to complement that tutorial to make it even clearer. First, make sure the height between the laser head and the object surface is right before you engrave. If you engrave something that's flat, it's easy. Just put the object on the plate, put down the L-shaped arranging rod, and adjust the standing bracket by pressing the up or down arrow until the rod just touches the surface of the object. By the way, short tap the arrow to make minor adjustments, long press on the release will just automatically. Short tap again to stop. After that, just retract the rod and you are ready to engrave. If you print something cylindrical and impossible to use the L-shaped arranging rod, then just use a ruler to measure distance. Make sure it's 110 millimeters. Second is when you are engraving something extra long, 
make sure to put the roller bearing assembly beside the standing bracket in an appropriate position so the object won't tip off the assembly or even lose its balance. Also, when you are using the engraver in sliding engraving mode, make sure the whole thing is in a horizontal position. Don't touch or move it at all, otherwise it will cause root deviation. Alright, nothing to add. To you, the laser picker tool is really as easy and simple as it looks. Though it's totally different from its predecessors, I got familiar with it in just um, 5 minutes. Shouldn't be a big problem for you too, unless you're too stupid. Now, finally, let's move to the engraving ability. Like I said, I tested crazily during the last two weeks on all kinds of things including aluminum cord, iron baseball bat, stone, glass, wood, leather, and even steel. That's right, even steel. Basically, anything you can think of. The results are blowing me away. They all look crystal clear and many details are being kept. I gotta say, with this kind of engravings, it really makes your object unique. Personalized items is something that never goes out of fashion, isn't it? And it cuts through some thin objects too. The max thickness is 5mm. If you just want to see those objects in engraving process, you can click this video. Here I'm sharing my true experience with you. This thing is fast. My wife says I'm faster than I'm in bed. Yes, everything is fast. The preview mode is fast. Unlike before, you see the scanline slowly draws the preview. Now you can actually see a complete preview there and you can drag wherever you want to print. The engraving speed is fast. Compared to its predecessors, it's 10 times more powerful. Check this out. So, if you are doing some packing back work like printing logo on your object, then it will save you tons of time. With this save time, you can relax and enjoy some poor, some videos, Movies, dress up. Other thing, it's versatile. You can engrave cylindrical things, extra long things, irregular shape of things, and most of all, you can take it to print any way you want. Is that fantastic? Just like reviewing all products, I always point out these advantages in addition to all this good stuff. As I think over and over about the laser taker 2 during my recent using. I cannot really find any. If you have to name one, then I would say there are a few bugs with the app. Because when I use it, I can still find some untranslated Chinese characters here and there. It's okay for me for obvious reasons, but not sure if it's okay for you. And sometimes for really a few specific materials, I have to adjust the parameters manually to get the best result. Obviously, the engineers of the laser picker, they are still tuning the product and study more materials too. But since this is a better version, I cannot complain about that. It's definitely not some deal breaks for me or you. And I have to say, it's one of the best highly refined products I've ever seen for a product that's in the crowdfunding stage. And you have to know if those minor bugs are the only things I'm saying, there's really nothing disadvantageous about the product. So, to conclude, if you want one quality laser engraver that's functional and fun at the same time without breaking your bank, this one is for you. The Laser Packer 2 so far is the best portable consumer laser engraver I've ever seen. The premium and the minimalistic design is like a piece of art. Three products on the market give me this kind of feeling. The decent 5 watt laser power, now you can finally engrave on basically anything you want. You can really do some serious DIY stuff with it. And the only limit is your imagination. This handy and versatile accessories, the auxiliary booster for different shapes of objects that's invented by the laser picker are totally original and genius. Thumbs up for that. And most of all, the machine and its use are so simple. There's no complex setup, no wires here and there. What you need to do is just watch my five minute tutorial and you are ready to go. I can really go on and on about how much I loved about this machine, but I will just leave it to you to explore more because I really want to spend more time with the Sink River to have more fun instead of just talking. So, I hope this video has helped you in some way. If you have any questions about it, just leave a comment below. To support the product, you can check out the link in the description. Or if you want to check Laser Packers previous Sink Rivers, just click right here. Stay subscribed, you me? See you in next one. Ah.